Maisie got her nickname the Barn Hippo because every barn has a barn dog. It's just standard protocol. And Maisie looks like a little hippo. When I first adopted her, you know, she's very much a tank and very stocky. And one day she was kind of flossing down the barn aisle and I was like, oh my God, she's a barn hippo. And instantly, I mean, it just stuck. I mean, everybody there called her barn hippo. My name is Marisa and this is Maisie the barn hippo. She'd go and sleep in the horse's stalls with them. She's so good with the horses. She would lick their noses when they'd go down to smell her. When the farrier would come to trim their hooves, she'd be in there like trying to sneak little hoof pieces from him and stuff like that. She was 1000% a barn dog. I was feeling extremely sad and depressed and lonely. Um, the year before I had lost my mom and then the year before that my father. So I'd been going through a lot of loss in a short period of time and I was kind of not doing well. And one of my friends tagged me in this post about Maisie and of her wooing at her foster mom's house. And I was like, who is this dog and how do I get her in my life? I fell completely in love with her. She was only three years old and she had been rescued from a really, really bad situation. She figured out, you know, pretty quickly the routine there. People fell in love with her. Everybody across the show park knew her. She'd go wander off and you'd see her trotting across the show park, waddling her little booty. She would trot up and down the barn aisles, wooing and stuff. Most dogs would kind of panic or get a little worried around larger animals that they had never seen before. And she took it all in stride. I mean, it was pretty much like, hey, what's up? You're big. Who? Do you got food? Everybody was just like, is this dog for real? Is she, I mean, you just adopted her? I'm like, I know, she's amazing. I think for her, just the experience and the interactions with people really, really helped with her coming out of her shell and moving from this area of isolation and being kenneled and being neglected to pretty much being with me 24 seven, being around people all the time, having love thrown at her constantly. She knew that it was a partnership and this is her job and she's the barn hippo and she does her duty and she's gonna accompany me and exchange the horse or grab the tack bag or do whatever she has to do. Going from this kenneled life with no exposure to anything to being shown the world basically. I'm like, what do you wanna do? Let's do it. Maisie is definitely the anchor of our animal crew over here. I don't understand how a dog like this can exist. What makes her so special is the way that she talks. Her motto is woo is life. Let's do this. Let's be happy. Let's make everything great. She woos when she's extremely happy. She woos when she's ignored. She woos when she's annoyed at me. There's definitely something about her that's magnetic to everybody. I think people just kind of started seeing her talking and seeing the funny faces she would make when she runs and stuff. And they just kind of realized that this dog is pretty cool. Maybe I should, you know, follow her. And she makes it so easy with her sense of humor and her goofy behavior that it's just kind of like a snowball effect. I think it helped a lot too with bully perceptions because there were quite a few people that were a little hesitant about her or not quite sure what she was about in the beginning. And once they realized just how sweet and loving she is, I mean, they turned into full-on fans. She's changed everything for me. She's given me kind of like this purpose now, where before, you know, I was just kind of going through life. I am definitely better together with Maisie. She completes me as, you know, part of my soul, part of my personality. And she shows me, you know, what is important in life, which is love. Ooh.